everyone. Uh, my name is Sally. I am the VP of Sales at HypeStack. I am responsible for uh, taking care of the Hong Kong and Taiwan business for the demand side business. Um, I hope uh, today is actually the uh, this program uh, is the last program of the Marketing Pulse event. So um, I hope after the thirty uh, after the thirty minutes of the sharing, you will get some ideas and more understanding about programmatic digital out of home and what is the trend and capabilities. And before we start, um, uh, I have a um, excuse me, there's some technical yeah technical issue. Um, so a brief history about. Um, the programmatic digital out of home. So uh, let's understand how digital out of home advertising, uh, di digital out of home ad serving all got started. The most important lesson from the past will actually help us to help us to write the future. Right now, we are still reliant almost 90% of the screen um, by using a loop uh, spot in the loop by. Uh, format to uh, display the advertisement. So the same ads actually going round and round on the same screen 24 hours a day. So, so in uh, year 2000, almost 22 years ago, digital out of home is born. So by that time, um, uh, the digital out of home media owner has to uh, schedule the ad, like come, come up with like a PowerPoint format, like a playlist, and then save all the creative uh, in a USB stick or a memory card. And then the, the ad scheduler, they have to physically visit the screen and then insert the card uh, to the media player so that they can play the, the client's advertisement. And then uh, back to year to, uh, uh, 2002, which is about like uh, uh, 18 years ago. So the first web-based CMS content management system uh, is, uh, is launched. So, um, so that it allows the out of home media owner, they don't have to visit the, uh, they don't have to visit the, the screen and physical location to do the ad scheduling. They can uh, come up with a playlist and then the loop based uh, buying is actually uh, happen starting from, from there. So for the, uh, for the past 18 years, um, the out of home, digital out of home salespeople, and uh, selling the ad to the media buyer in a spot in the loop buy format. And then the loop empire was in full force with countless, um, and then with us also with countless CMS system competing to become the digital signage uh, platform of a choice of media owner. So imagine the same as scrolling nonstop and then 24 hours a day for two weeks, I'm pretty sure that uh, none of us will think that this is a smart way of using the technology for uh, that available to us now today, right? So that brings us to today, a world where a powerful geotemporal ad server holds the decision uh, decisioning logic. No more spot in the loop by, uh, regardless whether if you have uh, the right audience in front of the screen, is um, and then everything is uh, having with a real time decision uh, buying process, buying through impression space, uh, 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 impression space by uh, delivery, uh, and also by using CPM cost per thousand impressions as a universal currency for running digital advertisement. So now. Um, who, who are we, uh, HypeStack? So you may, um, uh, uh, you may not heard about this name before, but you will hear, you will hear a lot of name about HypeStack. So I'm going to, uh, show you a short video to in introduce HypeStack. Brands, agencies, media owners, and omni-channel DSPs use the HypeStack platform to activate programmatic digital out of home with precision. Globally, custom audience targeting, unprecedented measurement capabilities, drive real world business outcomes. The future is pink. Join us. So, um, yeah, the future is pink. Pink is actually our uh, hashtag cockpit color. So, hashtag is proud to operate the world largest independent full stack platform that we are specialized in uh, digital out of home advertisement. And then um, we have, uh, when we talk about full stack, we have the full stack solution offering solution to sell side and buy side. We have the um, 
SSP had a better ad server for out of home media owner. And at the same time, we also have demand side platform available for media buyer like media for media agency, seller. And then not only using the platform to do the planning, buying, optimization and measure the result, but they also have an option to utilize the location data um, to do the pre- precision audience targeting and measurement on the platform. So we have uh, Hypes actually actually launched in back to 2017. Uh, five years ago, we have already expanded our um, business from Canada. Um, actually, we are a Canada uh, ca- Canadian ad tech company, and um, growing our business from Canada, Amer- uh, North America, uh, UK, Europe, and then uh, Singapore, Australia. Then last year, we entered to North Asia. We um, Hong Kong is actually our North Asia hub. So when we talk about programmatic digital out of home, um, so I think most of the marketers and not, uh, not, uh, I mean, very, uh, quite familiar with a programmatic advertisement because this is not anything new anymore. It has already, um, uh, appeared in the, uh, available in the, in the digital advertising markets, especially in Asia Pacific since nine years ago. So I would say that programmatic digital Digital out of home PDOOH is actually referring to um, one of the ad formats that available on the platform for uh, for advertiser. Other than uh, buying the mobile banner ad, display banner ad, and uh, audio ads connected TV, but now you can also activate your only channel campaign by buying the uh, digital out of home ad inventory. So, and also it leveraged the data and technology. Uh, to help the media planner and buyer throughout the whole process from planning, buying, uh, target the right, setting the right target audience uh, segment, optimizing the campaign throughout the campaign period, and also um, evaluate the campaign performance across different digital screens, which is uh, very important. And this is also a breakthrough for the digital out of home industry. So when we talk about programmatic advertising, so 15 years ago, um, none of us, actually programmatic didn't really exist 15 years ago. Now it's already a 50, uh, $155 billion uh, dollar market. And then had a bit of technology barely exists 10 years ago. And now it becomes a standard for digital publisher around the world. And connected TV. So um, we didn't really think about if the TV, if we can also activate uh, and launch the, the TV campaign through uh, the programmatic buying, but it's a, it also happened. So it happened like uh, back to like 2016. So what is the next big things? Um, I would say that pretty sure uh, programmatic digital out of homes is definitely the next big things that we need to pay attention um, and started to learn, understand what is the trend, what is the capability, the differences between what you are doing with the existing digital out of home buy. So as digital out of home become a new app format uh, available to buy through DSP platform, omni-channel DSPs uh, offers a various type of app format. As you can see, like CTV display ad, native ad video, and mobile ad, this type of app format. But only some of them have the digital out of home app Infantry and the F format available buying through the, the platform um, in a programmatic way. Um, I would say that with like a limited audience targeting capability, in flight, uh, limited in flight optimization capability, heat map reporting, measurement report. So, because the reason why is because um, the most of the omni channel DSP, uh, when they built the, the DSP platform and the bidder that was not purposely built for digital out of home. When we talk about digital out of home, it's all about um, location and time. So uh, that is something that um, um, the only channel DSP can offer the uh, out of digital out of home buy, but um, still need time to catch up with the uh, some technology. So I would say that to how to drive a uh, uh, programmatic digital out of home success, these are the four uh, key elements to drive the, the uh, programmatic digital out of home campaign success, which is the tech platform, connected screen, not only with uh, one out of home media owner, but with various uh, uh, digital out of home media owner screens, um, different venue type screen, like uh, 
spectacular uh, outdoor billboard to uh, bus shelter, like MTR, the, the screen within the MTR, uh, the metro, and also the screen uh, even at the um, uh, the elevator and also like vending machine. Um, those are the collective screen that I refer to the uh, digital out of home environment. And then uh, the other element which is very important is the measurement capability. So um, to measure the campaign performance uh, on the dig uh, digital display like uh, mobile banner, which is very normal and this is a norm. Um, so we also need a, 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 to align with the, um, the good use of programmatic buying te uh, technology and also the, uh, the use of the data. So the measurement capability is on programmatic digi uh, on digital out of home is also very important. And to make this assess, not only the tech platform with uh, inventory connected screen, and but also with the location based data, which is um, important as well. So it allow us to do more precision audience targeting outside of the home, uh, outside of home. So with technology, high stack proprietary geotemporal as server and location based uh, uh, and our location based data, which available through our global data partner, like for example, life sites. And um, specific, uh, specifically for Hong Kong and Taiwan, we also partner with some local uh, key and big um, lo uh, location data partner like Fipon to enhance the local service and offering to our uh, local clients as well. So tapping into the uh, target audience with um, with a true understanding of the audience movement patterns at actually really at incremental uh, value and a stronger results to every every uh, programmatic digital out of home campaign. And it's not only drive meaningful connection with audience uh, engagement, but also has uh, proven potential to drive real world business outcome. So um, these are some tips and uh, I will say that Actually, my experience, our experience and learning from um, uh, from the past uh, few years that we learned, and I would like to share with you because, like, uh, as of now, you may have a questions in mind that okay, digital out of home. I have already placing the uh, some media budget on this uh, medium for a few years, and then my media agency running, we're running on it um, quite smooth. So why I have to think about, like consider a uh, programmatic digital out of home, what is the differences with a P or without a P in front of the uh, DOOH? So these are in incoming field slides, I'm going to share about like um, eight points that um, for you to understand what are the differences between these two buying methods. So first of all is the audience targeting. Um, for the traditional uh, buying method, the digital out of home, it's not about um, buying a um, location and screen. So have you ever think about if your uh, out of home advertisement only appear on the screens that um, when a larger, large amount of your target audience nearby the screens? If yes, that will be um, fantastic because you are really spending your media budget wisely. So um, unlike in traditional out-of-home and digital out-of-home that focus on model of buying a location or a screen. So it is actually a programmatic digital out-of-home, PDOOH, is actually offer audience-centric models that leveraging audience data to better locate and uh, target, engage with, and measure audience at um, out-of-home. So um, I would say that the, this audience-centric approach allows for uh, allows advertisers to customize, customize their targets, uh, targeting strategy using pre-built or be bespoke customized segment that can be um, targeted across the out-of-home screen, uh, like, for example, and also across mobile and other digital, pan uh, digital panel, maximizing effectiveness of the campaign from a holistic perspective. And um, most of the marketers often see that out of home as a standalone media channel. Um, the most important matrix in digital out of home is actually the number of impressions that are screens uh, is being um, set and sent the impressions in a certain time of period. And uh, with online advertising, for us, like uh, one appearance on an ad 
uh, on an ad on a one screen is actually likely to reach one person. But when you are at an out of home environment, when you serve one impressions, actually out of home is a one too many channel. So when you sh sh uh, show one impressions, you are actually reaching several uh, hundred of people uh, in front of you. So, um, HabSec have the technology and also the methodology to uh, bridge this gap, to transform the spot buy into impressions buy so that digital marketers can use the impressions buy uh, and impressions deliver, delivering method and also the um, CPM as a uh, digital currency to trade and uh, to plan and trade your app. Um, so you can, and you can also evaluate your campaign under the same matrix as well. So each uh, um, this is very important for all of us to um, to remind ourselves that yes, we can do audience targeting at the outdoor environments now. But please don't re, uh, don't forget that out of home is a one too many channel. So we do have um, uh, we are actually helping uh, marketers to reach out to the audience um, um, in the most effective way. And then uh, in our in the marketing funnel, we are actually on the top funnel. Um, we are doing the brand awareness at the same time. Um, we can do the targeting smarter, but not smaller. So, um, so beware of the trap of the online advertising. And um, whenever we talk about data, we uh, data and over-promising of the capability of data, uh, data led to micro targeting. So, for example, um, if you if you would like to target uh, left-handed women in McDonald's on a Wednesday at six p.m., it's not the route that makes sense for public uh, targeting, uh, like the broadcast medium, like out of home. Um, and then, um, so rather we talk about target uh, targeting, so we we should target smarter but not smaller. So this is the uh, comparison with the, the left-hand side is the traditional uh, spot in the loop buy. Um, and then the right-hand side is the uh, programmatic digital out of home buy. You will see the difference. For the left-hand side, um, based on the loop-based delivery, um, the ad will appear on the screens uh, on, a, on a scheduled uh, playlist basis. And regardless uh, how many number of audience in front of the screen or uh, whether if there are some targeted audience in front of the screen. And then um, versus the right-hand side, by using programmatic digital out of home, we, um, we can be more dynamic and then target the audience uh, in a smarter way. Like we, we can really serve the right ad to the right uh, location, right screen at the right time. And um, the other thing, the, the other beauty of using programmatic digital out of home is that we can bridge the gap be uh, between online and offline. We always talk about the online and offline ad is actually working in silo. There's no, it's, it's really, it's barely to connect them. Uh, yes, we have QR code, we have some like SMS and we can connect the audience out. They saw the uh, out of home advertisement or newspaper advertisement, then they come back to our, the, the, uh, the store. So right now with our, the, uh, our data, the data and, and our technology, we can do the like out of home advertising and then digital out of home advertising, and then at the same time we can retarget the or we we uh have the capability and also allow the advertiser uh, to retarget your uh, audience that expo has already exposed to your know, digital out of home ad on different media like social media and then um mobile media. And um, the with HiveStack, uh, DS, uh, DSP and uh, location-based data precision targeting is as simple as it's ever been. And here's how it can be done. First of all, we can do proximity targeting. It's just uh, uh, it's a type of like geolocation targeting. Targeting by location is as, as, is as easy as creating a geo fence around points of interest using automated polygon tools. These targeting parameters play a very crucial role in the uh, digital out of home advertising and to make the effective app delivery as they set the foundation for an impact location based targeting campaign. So precision targeting happens in real time, ensuring that uh, the right, right message is always showing to the uh, right audience. So the other, uh, 
capability is that with the location-based data, uh, we can also do the custom audience targeting. Um, creating custom audience segment according to your campaign goals is ideally to uh, the most effective way to ensure you are reaching your true target audience and um, in a precise way and more uh, uh, and more uh, accurate. So uh, advertisers have the ability to layer multiple different uh, data sets together. So um, creating a bespoke audience that merges predefined segment with created geo-targeting uh, uh, location and point of interest that, um, and even they can also use their very uh, first, uh, very own first party data as well. And predefined segment, uh, our platform presents media buyers with a, a variety of pre-built uh, demographics, behavior, and contextual audience segments that is al already available uh, for the buyer or are ready to be activated at the click of a, but a button. So, and also with uh, uh, weather and data, uh, 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 data, uh, uh, data to support, uh, to help to trigger the right moment showing the ad uh, on the right, uh, right creative on the right screen at the outdoor environment. So something like, um, uh, Moment targeting DCO is can be happen on digital auto phone. So when we talk about uh, data and uh, programmatic, it's all about measurement as well. So out of home advertising is not and uh, never been um, a medium that can be measured by the like uh, by by performance. Like um, so, measuring can be take many forms, but over the years, uh, out of home has str struggled with. Uh, um, with uh, varying layers of success in the um, economic matrix modeling. So the key challenges for the advertisers are how to measure the performance. So now we have the capability to measure the out of digital out of home advertisement in different ways, like we can measure by foot four, whether if your digital out of home campaign exposed to the audience, and then they will come back to your shop and, um, and increase the sales lead. And then in terms of like uh, cross-screen targeting, not only on the out-of-home environment, but cross-screen targeting is, I'm talking about the digital out-of-home screen and the um, mobile or laptop um, online and offline cross-screen tar uh, targeting. So we can also have to, um, uh, we can also, with the capability, now we can measure the uh, performance by uh, seeing the, the lift. And then um, sales lift and also the uh, click through rate as well. So um, more flexible, you can activate, uh, start, pause, or uh, activate your campaign on the fly. And then you can set a uh, uh, day parting, uh, set up the campaign in different time, uh, launch in different time. And then you can also do, you have the cap uh, capability to be not only in control, but you can also um, do the in-flight optimization to optimize the performance by looking at the report and seeing like uh, w w which uh, screen, which venue has most highest audience concentration around. So it is the way to help you to maximize your reach and uh, maximize the performance. And with programmatic digital out of home, uh, we also have the capability to uh, trigger the, the message to showing on screen according to the condition. Like, say, for example, we can, um, based on the weather condition, uh, based on the UV index and also temperature and uh, um, traffic uh, condition, uh, some sports event results, <clears throat> and also the stock market result as well. So the dynamic creative optimization can be happened on digital out of home environment. And uh, as most of the marketers, they have uh, their own choice of using different only channel uh, to activate their only channel campaign. So uh, with HypeStack, we are full stack platform. We can uh, we collaborate with only uh, global only channel DSPs to do the integration. So the only channel DSP, you can also act activate your campaign through only channel DSP and then connect with HypeStack. Uh, supply side platform, which the inventory that we have already connected. And uh, when we talk about cross screen targeting, we can also talk about, uh, we can also do, uh, uh, we target the audience on the social media channel as well. So uh, some uh, case studies to share with you. Um, last year, we, lo we launched a campaign for a leading global beauty brand. Uh, that is the first programmatic digital out of home campaign in Hong Kong for Hypestat, which is the uh, uh, we are utilizing all the 
targeting capability, cross media owner buy, cross screen targeting. We have the custom audience targeting to help the brand to target female age 20 to uh, 50 years old. Uh, they are outdoor enthusiasts. And then um, after showing the ad on, on all the like bus shelter and uh, digital billboard, and then we we retarget the audience on the mobile retargeting banner by overlaying uh, ex an exposed device, mobile device ID. So we compare the results that uh, the clients that used to launch the campaign only on the mobile uh, mobile channel. Um, in terms of the click-through rate CTR, uh, coupling digital out of home with mobile can actually help the performance, uh, drive the performance. Um, it's almost two times better uh, in terms of the result. So it has proved to show the marketers that your digital out of home campaign can do the, like, to, um, to impact the audience buying decision. And then, uh, and also your brand will be on top of their mind. And as a, uh, because it's a, we're talking about programmatic, we have the, we actually bridge uh, the media, the global media owner, and also the uh, media agency uh, advertiser together. So it's very easy to activate a global digital out of home campaign. Say, for example, if you have a campaign launching, going to launch in Asia Pacific or uh, in the US or other country, we have the uh, in inventory and then the platform. So um, these are the country that we cover um, for your reference. And then um, uh, in terms of different banner ad type, we are also available. Like last year, we activate a Kuchi campaign uh, for like Kuchi crossover North Face campaign across uh, New York, Milan, Tokyo, London, and Singapore. <clears throat> so last but uh, so very. Last but not least, uh, it's very important to uh, to share with you all that programmatic digital digital form is not the future anymore. It's already here. It's happening. It's more uh, flexible and more transparent, and then um, the results can be measurable. And then um, also you can activate your global campaign in, in an easy way. So I hope I can uh, share this like insight with you to let you know more about programmatic digital form today. I just saw the um, uh, questions on the Q&A. Let me see. Yes, um, there's a question about uh, how do you cross from offline to online? Um, do you collect audience mobile device ID, then retarget them uh, uh, via programmatic display or social ad? Yes, you are right. So first of all, we uh, we work with our location data partner and then understanding what is our client's uh, needs and requirement, targeting needs and requirements. So um, for the uh, for the for, so we uh, when we launch the digital out of home campaign, we overlay the uh, we overlay the the audience target. Uh, target segment. So those are the mobile device ID. And then the most, uh, the reason why we know about the, um, uh, the, the segment is because we have already, we have already, um, understand that, that what, uh, according to their real life moving pattern, what are the, uh, what are the, the places that they usually visit, uh, how long they stayed, uh, and then what is the location, um, latitude, longitude. So come up with all this data and then, um, we understand the moving pattern. So when we activate a digital out of home campaign, we overlay this, we launch the campaign with, uh, with this data. And after that, we, um, we will, Exports the exposed device ID, meaning those IDs, uh, those mobile device ID has already, um, has already shown on the, uh, uh, uh the, your advertise, uh, advertisers ad in front of the, the audience. And then, um, the clients launch the mobile banner ad campaign or display banner ad campaign. So, um, we overlay the, the exposed device ID. So the same theory uh, on like uh, when you activate your retargeting campaign on mobile display, uh, uh, desktop advertising, or uh, um, even connected TV advertising. Uh, advertising. And um, so how do you use digital out of home during pan pan pandemic? How could it help brands where people uh, mainly stay home most of the time? Yes, this is a very uh, good question. 
And uh, because of the, especially in Hong Kong, in the past two years, is a, it's been a very tough time for everyone. And um, we see that uh, by learning the uh, um, the experience globally, especially for the overseas market like um, UK, US, there are um, they also they they have experienced a, a period period of time of uh, lockdown. So um, yes, definitely there will not be a lot of people uh, on the streets. But with that, but there are still some people need to go to work and also commute to different places like buying food. So there are still some people on the streets. So um, by the location based data, understanding the audience movement pattern, and then now the different location with the different uh, traffic in front of the screen. So with the um, with the data support, so advertisers still able to launch their uh, digital out of home campaign in a, smart, a smarter way. Like um, they will understand that okay, if this screen, uh, what time I should show this, uh, show the ad in front of the screen in which location. So instead of like um, the traditional way of doing ad, uh, outdoor advertisement, is that um, morning on the uh, uh, morning commute time or the. Uh, um, at the night time will be more people and more crowded. Um, now we have a better way to do that. Uh, so, I mean, now this is uh, the way we uh, did in overseas market. And um, by using precision mar- uh, audience targeting, uh, we can also target to a certain group of people um, as well. So, um, thank you so much for staying till uh, 530 uh, uh, 40- Thank you so much for your time. So uh, if you have any more questions uh, to ask, so feel free to reach out to us. Um, We can arrange another section. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.